Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to show how to clone a virtual machine from your Oracle VirtualBox. I'm using VirtualBox uh, 6.1 and the interface looks may look a little different. So the easiest way to do it, you got to stop the virtual machine. Okay, if you cannot take a clone of your virtual machine when it's running. So all you need to do, come here and click on the clone setting if you clone on it. And you can create and it will have to add a new name. It's by default, it's going to add the clone on it. So you can add whatever you like. If you want to change the path, you can change it. And uh, what you can, you can keep the exact same NAT network adapter MAC address. So what I typically do, generate new MAC address for all network adapters. Uh, but if you want to keep the MAC address, you can keep that. Uh, you can keep the disk names and the hardware UUID if you would like to do that. So then uh, if you want to go to the export mode, you can click on it. And a full clone and linked clone, uh, right now typically I would go with the full clone. And we just said that this too we are going to check and then go back to your guided mode maybe and uh, hit next. Uh, here you have uh, the the description what they mean if you choose a full clone an exact copy including all virtual hard disk file and the original virtual machine will be created if you choose to create a linked clone a new machine will be created by the virtual hard disk file will be tied to the virtual hard disk files of the original machine that you want that you will not be able to move the, to the new virtual machine to a different computer without moving the original as well. So if you don't want any independency to the machine that you are cloning, just go with the full clone. Now that's what we selected. Hit next. Now the next thing you are looking for the snapshots. Like if you notice, I got a whole bunch of snapshots in here. So if you want to get all the snapshots, that you, then you click the everything. But if you want the most recent snapshot the current state of the machine you will just go with the the most recent one that is what i would like you to do hit uh, next as clone and that will start the cloning process and it will take just a little bit as soon as it's done you are done with the cloning uh, within few seconds uh, our cloning is done and i have a new uh, clone machine that's up and running or well it's not up and running but it's cloned right there uh, you can click you can look at the setting and look at over here first of all it's got only one uh, current state it did not carry over all of the uh, all of the virtual machine settings or all of the snaps that i had on the other machine and uh, you can go go to the system the configuration is exactly the same i have a 8192 uh, ram and then if i look at the processor four core four processors are attached to this machine if i go and look at the other machine uh, i have multiple snapshots but uh, if you look at the system 8192 uh, megabytes of ram and uh, four processors are attached to this one as well even the network shitting should be the very much the same this is a bridge adapter so if i go back in here look at this one and uh, uh, look at my network it's a bridge adapter so right now i can now turn and start this machine and uh, start working on this one if i like okay so that's how easy it is to clone a virtual machine and uh, use it to to start from from a, from a place where you have already configured and you know what uh, you have done to this particular uh, machine. So say you have uh, installed Ubuntu, you installed Apache, you install a whole bunch of services and you don't want to redo that work anymore. You can clone the machine, keep the clone and use the clone to deploy new virtual machines to save some time. All right, that's all for this video. Hope you like it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the video. Thank you.